My name's Eric Wielander, welcome to my channel. Today I wanna to talk about the EVE Water Guard. Now this is a water leak detection sensor for Apple HomeKit. It's shaped about the size of a power adapter you might use for other electronics and then has a string coming, coming out of it that actually detects the leaks. Now, this is a unique design compared to a lot of other HomeKit leak detection sensors, which are often shaped like a puck and then use metal inside of that to detect the water. Uh, with this longer string, it gives you a much broader area that you can be watching for leaks. Now, when there's a leak, you get a notification from the Apple Home app to anybody in your HomeKit home that's opted to have those notifications sent to them. Also. On the unit, there's a red light that will flash on and off and a siren noise. So that way, if someone's at the home who isn't part of your home kit home, they're still gonna know that something's going on. Now, you can also add this to your home's status. This is the sentence at the top of the main screen in home, the home app that just gives you an update on all kinds of things going on in your home. So if there was a leak that was just detected, it'll add it right there. This plug costs $80 in the US, and if you wanna detect an even bigger area than the uh, six and a half foot cable that comes with it, you can buy additional cables to extend that range of moisture detection even further. Those additional cables cost $20. Now, Eve sent me this product for review, but this video is not sponsored. All of these opinions are my own. So with a price like $80, where and why would you wanna use this sensor? Well, it turns out water can create a lot of damage in your home and detecting it quickly can minimize the cost and probably save you a lot more than $80 if, it's able to, if you're able to get to the leak in time and keep water from getting everywhere in let's say your basement. Uh, so Eve recommends you could use this by a washing machine or another home appliance like a dishwasher uh, just to detect any leaks coming from that that device, but you might also have an aging hot water heater that could be leaking. Or in a cold place like where I live, you might have pipes that can freeze that then cause all kinds of problems. You also might have a sub pump. That's personally where I decided to put mine. So I've been working from home for about 10 months now and I work out of an office in my basement. Now there's some built-in cabinets along the wall of my office and one of those covers are sub pump for our basement. So if that sub pump ever leaks or has issues where it backs up and um, you know water starts to come to the basement, I wanna know about that right away. I don't wanna find out about all this water damage when I show up to my office to work. So setting this product up. Now it's important to note that it does connect to Apple HomeKit over Bluetooth like a lot of Eve's other products. So this means that it needs to be within about 30 feet of whatever is your HomeKit hub. So this is a HomePod, an Apple TV, or an iPad that is remaining on in your home network and is able to uh, detect things from sensors like this and then send out those notifications to you if you're away from your home. It also does other things like automation that we won't get into in this video. And you can configure which is your HomeKit hub in the Home app. Now, if you want this to be further away from your HomeKit hub, you can buy an additional $50 Eve Extend product, which allows, uh, it basically extends the Bluetooth range of your HomeKit hub and then allows you to put this sensor even further away. Another thing to note is that this does, at the time of recording, require iOS 13.3. So if you're trying to set this up with a phone still on iOS 12, you're not, it's not gonna work. So in the box, you get the plug itself along with manuals, the home kit code, the string, which then allows you to detect moisture, and then different plug adapters for different parts of the world. This product is intended to ship to a variety of different markets, so they ship with the different plug adapters. Now, then you just simply choose the one you need and put it on the device. So once you've added your country's uh, plug adapter, you simply select where you want it to go in your home, plug it in, and go through the setup, either in the Eve app or the Apple Home app. Simply scan or enter the HomeKit code, give it a name, assign it to a room, and then you can determine what you want for status and notifications. I have my office pulled up here in HomeKit, and you can see the tile for the Eve water garden. It's actually being triggered right now, which will get into in a second, but I have muted the alarm. Uh, then if you go down to 
the uh, details here, you can see status and notifications. Now, including in status, if you want it in the status of your home, you can just have that turned on, that's on by default. And then notifications on this phone. So this is specific to the device. Now, this is also turned on for anyone else in your smart home who has uh, notifications turned on for Apple Home on that device. So they might wanna go in and turn this off or mute notifications for the Apple Home app. This is just how Apple has this whole system set up and it's pretty easy to manage, so nothing specific to this sensor. I also think that's an advantage that everybody in your home is gonna find out when this leaks uh, if they haven't turned off those notifications and that can just give more people the information to act on faster. You can also set any kind of preferences here for if you only want notifications on this phone during certain times of day, uh, or if you only want notifications on this phone for leaks if maybe no one else is at home or some other situation like that. So the beauty of HomeKit and a lot of accessories like the Water Guard is that you can set it up just with the Apple Home app and you don't need to really install any kind of third-party software. Now, in Eve's case, they have an excellent companion app for HomeKit that allows you to do all kinds of advanced automations and other features, but one of the things that is they also add additional features for their own products. So in this case, it has a little flow to take you through testing the water sensor just to make sure that it actually works once you've set it up. So you can open the app and go to settings, accessories, and then find that uh, sensor you wanna test. Go in there and there's an option to test and um, it'll walk you through the steps. Basically, you wanna get a, a little container of water that you can submerge some of the string in and then it will sound the alarm. Now, I did notice that the siren is a little bit softer during the test, which I think is a nice attention to detail. And then you can also configure the interval at which you want Eve to automatically remind you to do the test again. They default this to six months, but I chose one year. So in actually using the water guard, you know, it's pretty much set it and forget it. And then, you know, hope that you don't get a notification. But at the same time, the string mechanism does have one downside, which is that it takes a little bit to dry. I found in order to get mine to dry, I needed to like take it upstairs and put it in a window by the sun so that it gets completely dry before I plug it back in. Of course, if you do plug it in or at any point you can mute the alarm, then from there it'll continue to trigger as it takes some time to dry, especially if you have this in an area where there's not you know, direct sunlight or any other kinds of means to dry it off. I, I certainly wouldn't recommend putting this in like a dryer or something. Just just let it sit out for a little bit. And you know, in an hour or so, you'll probably have a dry string depending on where you live. So it's not a big deal. It's probably more of a bigger deal for YouTubers like me actually testing the product than it is for actually using it. But it is something I just wanted to mention. Overall, as a water leak sensor, it's a great design. It gets around some of the common problems with smaller puck design sensors because they can't detect as big of an area as this. I also love that the cable is extendable so you can get additional cables from Eve. And it's very privacy focused device from a privacy focused company. So it just works with Apple HomeKit. Now this can be a great advantage in that, you know, you're not gonna see ads for a plumber when your sensor starts to detect a leak. But at the same time, if you like using other ecosystems like Amazon's Alexa or Google Nest, you're not gonna be able to use this sensor with it. Personally, I don't see that as a big deal because as long as you get the notification somehow, then it's fine. But it does mean that you know you got to be using Apple devices to work with Apple HomeKit. Now it also works over Bluetooth and as I mentioned that does have some range limitations but I think overall it's a really well-designed product. It pairs with some really powerful software in the Eve app and I think it's one of those sensors that can just really add a lot of peace of mind to know that you're not getting a leak or a bunch of water coming into your basement or wherever is a worry to you. So if you want to pick up one of these sensors for yourself there's a link in the description. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon if you haven't already. Follow me over on Instagram or Twitter, and thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.